Hey, FBC Delaware and Pastor uh, Clint Scott, just wanted to uh, come to you and give you an update. We're on site here uh, in Bider, Texas. And so uh, what we found is just amazingly devastating, more than we ever thought or imagined. And uh, so we just wanted to thank you for what you're doing, the water, the supplies you're collecting, knowing uh, that they're being put to good use. Uh, I just want to give you a visual picture of what's going on here. This is an upper middle class uh, neighborhood behind me. You can see uh, the type of homes that are in here. These aren't cheap homes. These aren't people without jobs in poor communities. These are upper middle class. And just as far as the eye can see on every street, uh, the entire street, as far as you can see, is lined with debris. The debris is sitting out here because uh, FEMA has to assess the damage and check it off, uh, which means it can't be collected yet, which means practically there's a massive mold air in the uh, massive mold smell in the air. Uh, there's fecal uh, smell, sewage smell in the air where the, the sewers uh, have risen during the flood. Uh, and so just think with me for a minute, you know, if you're a young child coming home, uh, one child today uh, described uh, their place they're living as the dry home, which is the camper. Uh, the most that uh, FEMA will give you in this instance is $30,000. Uh, say you have a $150,000, $200,000 mortgage, uh, they give you $30,000, you don't have flood insurance. Uh, and then uh, you spend most of that $30,000 to get yourself a camper so you can live uh, without the danger of mold. Uh, so just imagine as a young child the psych psychological effect of uh, just not having that security and peace of mind. Uh, as adults, uh, think about the psychological effect of driving down these streets every day, seeing this piled up debris, going to work and working extra shifts to make extra money so that you can come home and do the labor yourself because you don't have the resources financially to hire subcontractors. Just amazing. Uh, the good news is God is good and God is big and strong. And so uh, God's on our team and we're on his. And uh, today we had a pastor in a church donate us a 50,000 square foot warehouse where we're going to be setting up a basis of operations. We're going to be having mission teams come down uh, to do construction, clean out. Uh, the pastor of the church, his home was devastated. His church was affected. We're going to start there. And so we're also going to be collecting supplies and we need your continued financial support. Uh, getting uh, a tractor trailer down here costs about $2,000, $2,500 uh, in, in transport costs. So you can give, uh, you can pray, you can buy supplies. We're going to be collecting shoe boxes for Christmas outreach and uh, bringing hope to kids. Uh, there's a variety of ways that you can help, but we just wanted to give you an update. And this is just one neighborhood in one city among many, all the way up from here to Houston, uh, that have been affected like this. And so there's going to be years of recovery. Uh, and the church here has an amazing opportunity to shine. So we wanted to thank you uh, and also challenge you to continue uh, to be involved and partner with us. Uh, if you want more details, talk with Pastor Clint. I'm going to be in touch and, uh, and we'll tackle this together. God bless you guys.